Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's morning prayer service. This is Tuesday, October 26th. The opening sentence is from Psalm 19. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be always acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. The Confession of Sin on page 12. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. Apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare those who confess their faults. Restore those who are penitent, according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant a most merciful Father for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Jubilate on page 15. We say together, O be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Be assured that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. O go your way into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures from generation to generation. We'll now have the psalm reading and the New Testament reading. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 139. It can be found in the Book of Common Prayer on page 454. O oh Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You understand my thoughts from afar. You examine my path and my places of rest. And are acquainted with all my ways. Indeed, there is not a word on my tongue. But you, O oh Lord, know it all together. You have enclosed me behind and before. And you've laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. So excellent, I cannot attain to it. Where shall I go then from your spirit? Or where shall I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in the grave, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning. And dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea. Even there your hand shall your hand lead me. And your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me. Then shall my night be turned to day. Even the darkness is not dark to you. And the night is as clear as the day. The darkness and the light to you are both alike. For you yourself made my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I will give thanks to you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and my soul knows it very well. My bones were not hidden from you. When I was made in the secret and fashioned in the depths of the earth, your eyes beheld my substance while I was yet unformed. And in your book were all my members written, which day by day were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How dear to me are your thoughts, O God. How great is the sum of them. If I were to count them, they would be more in number than the sand. When I wake up, I am present with you. Oh, that you would slay the wicked, O oh God. Depart from me, you bloodthirsty men. For they speak unrighteously against you. Your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate those, O oh Lord, who hate you? And do I not loathe those who rise up against you? Indeed, I hate them with a perfect hatred. They have become my own enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and examine my thoughts. 
Look well, if there be any way of wickedness in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The reading today is from Acts. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, beginning with the fourth chapter, the 32nd verse. They had everything in common. Now the full number of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one said that any of the things that belonged to him was his own, but they had everything in common. And with great power, the apostles were giving their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many as were owners of lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold and laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as any had need. Thus Joseph, who was also called by the apostles Barnabas, which means son of encouragement, a Levite, a native of Cyprus, sold a field that belonged to him, and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet, Ananias and Sapphira. But a man named Ananias, with his wife Sapphira, sold a piece of property. And with his wife's knowledge, he kept back for himself some of the proceeds and brought only a part of it and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and to keep back for yourself part of the proceeds of the land? While it remained unsold, did it not remain your own? And after it was sold, was it not at your disposal? Why is it that you have contrived this deed in your heart? You have not lied to man but to God. When Ananias heard these words, he fell down and breathed his last. And great fear came upon all who heard it. The young men rose and wrapped him and carried him out and buried him. After an interval of about three hours, his wife came in, not knowing what had happened. And Peter said to her, tell me whether you sold the land for so much. And, he, and she said, yes, for so much. But Peter said to her, how is it? Oh, sorry. Peter said to her, um, how is it that you have agreed together to test the spirit of the Lord? Behold, the feet of those who have buried your husband are at the door and they will carry you out. Immediately she fell down at his feet and breathed her last. When the young men came in, they found her dead and they carried her out and buried her beside her husband. And great fear came upon the whole church and upon all who heard of these things. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The canticle is the Dinius S found on page 84. We say together, splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is and by your will, they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor forever and ever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed on page 20. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, 
and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. The Collect for Peace is found on page 23. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you as eternal life and to serve you as perfect freedom, defend us, your humble servants, and all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now in time for prayer. God, thank you for giving us another day of life. Thank you for bringing us to this Tuesday morning. Um, pray that you would continue to do your work uh, in the world. Thank you for Christ the King. Uh, thank you for other um, gospel churches in Albuquerque and also in Denver. Pray that you just continue to do your work, Lord. Thank you for who you are. Lord, we give you thanks for our parish of Christ the King and ask for you bless the churches uh, in our neighborhood and ask for that you continue to empower them and give them boldness uh, mm -hmm. to proclaim the, the good news of Jesus, that there's new life in him and hope. And pray, Lord, that you will bless uh, congregations, that uh, they will see their mission of proclaiming you and, and also living mm -hmm. for you and yes. how uh, that t touches lives and, and transforms people, gives them hope in, in challenging uh, circumstances. We uh, pray, Lord, uh, for the, the mission of the church with a capital C, uh, that uh, we're a, a place of uh, a light and love and mm -hmm. peace a place yes. of sanctuary in, in difficult and uh, perplexing times when people are challenged in so many ways through the pandemic and, and just through uh, just a lot of uncertainty that's in the world that, that through you, there is certainty uh, that we can know you and, and know your presence with us and, and with your people. And that's a confidence that only you give by the power of your Holy Spirit and, and trust in your promises. Mm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. A prayer of St. John Christostom, and that is found on page 26. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised for your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant the requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>